That's right, Jack, and tonight they took full advantage of it. Now, parents told the board they are concerned about the lack of security at Sipsi Valley, Valley Middle and High School, and their kids are too afraid to go. Sipsi Valley Middle and High School sits here on Romulus Road in Buell. About 30 minutes from the Tuscaloosa County School Board Central Office in downtown Tuscaloosa. And that's a big issue for one group of parents. They're concerned about the response time to the school in case of a threat. I think it's a very big concern there because, you know, the, it's going to take police 30 to 45 minutes to respond to our students if something was to happen. You know, when we're a l large county, that is a concern. And uh, But funding is always an issue of those type things. We think we've got some good, solid security measures in place uh, at that particular facility. You know, you do have the SRO that's there a majority of the time. Uh, we also have the door access codes. We have security monitors all the way throughout the building. They're also monitored by the Sheriff's Department. Another concern is communication, especially between the school and parents. Amber Smith says it shouldn't matter what the issue is. Parents should always be notified. But Smith says that hasn't always been the case. And then if you got notification that our kids are in danger in any type of way, we should be notified ahead of time, regardless of it being they're, they're being caught off the school campus or at school. It's something that every parent should know. Tuscaloosa County School Superintendent Dr. Walter Davey was asked, should communication improve? I think that's a debate back and forth about when you alert and when you don't. Um, and I know there's times parents have wanted us to contact them right in the middle of something. Well, at times we just don't do that, number one, because we really can't. We're dealing with things about either taking care of the children, really trying to investigate to find out what is going on. Dr. Davies says when there is an imminent threat, parents aren't alerted. He says next school year, he doesn't see any drastic changes in their procedures. Now, Dr. Davies says all schools in the systems have monthly fire and intruder drills. He says this is to make sure that all students know how to handle a situation if there's a threat at their school. Reporting live tonight, Jabari Pru at WVUA 23 News.